I am technically at tomorrow's par, so I'm still ahead, but I have a confession to make. So I'm not recording until late tonight because it has just been one thing after another. It's such a busy time of year because I've got HB90 course is opening on Sunday. So by the time you see this, I'll have less than 24 hours to get that course open. And there's a lot of little things that go into getting everything set up, getting the planners ready. I'm working on the 2023 planners. I'm working on the Q1 planners. <laughs> and so there's like a total of 16 planners to design. And yes, I did try to outsource this at one point and they messed up so badly. And I spent so much money that I was like, okay, I'm doing it myself. <laughs> so I've got those planners to get done. I have not had any time to write since the night before last. So I am making a priority tonight. I I just got done reading a book from my friend Angela Hester called A is for Anteater is the first in a series of adventures from A to Z. And it was so much fun to read a book that I know not only a friend of mine, but also a student of my Publish and Thrive course has created and published. It's a children's book and Evie loved it. She was like, read it again. And then she was like, I want to know what happens when they go to the zoo. So I told her we'll get B is for backpack is coming soon. So I think that kids will really love being able to follow those books. And I think it's super clever idea to write them in a, a series of like one continuing adventure. So good job, Angela. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> um, but anyway, that was fun. And now I've got to get to work. But as I was starting to get to work, Work, I was really not only in this room noticing how messy it is because this is what always happens to me as I get busier and busier is my house gets a little bit messier and a little bit messier and then I have a moment where it's like for the new year I'll clean everything up <laughs> or when we decorate for Christmas but it's so hard you know people ask about how do you maintain balance and it's like sometimes you just can't maintain balance and you have to set your priorities. And it's like, I'm either going to have a little bit of time with the kids or I'm going to be able to clean up this room. And tomorrow I actually can maybe take some time to put on some music and have Evie in here with me kind of dancing around while we clean. But to get the whole house clean and get, make it perfect is not my priority right now. It's really more getting my work done and spending time with the kids. So it's always you know, ups and downs and choices. Life is all about choices. And it's really all about making them as intentionally as possible so that you know what it is you're spending your time on rather than just letting it steal your time being actually intentional about that. So if that resonates with you at all, then maybe you would like to join us in the HB90 course coming up this weekend. But I was in here um, looking at the mess and kind of cleaning up a few things, but I was also moving a few things down my board. And you guys look at this, <laughs> like this is my goal. This is my writing goal. Let me turn this around. So if you are new here because you just discovered me for Preptober or NaNoWriMo, these are my Kanban boards, which are really my three major goals every quarter. I will reset these. And that is basically what I do in my HB90 course. It's a system I developed for myself to try to get more done and to make those intentional choices so I don't end up sacrificing something that I didn't mean to sacrifice and so that I can keep the like needle moving forward on my career without working myself over hard. So uh, anyway, I use these Kanban boards by setting up my goals for the quarter at the beginning of the quarter. So for this quarter, it was October 1st or so when I had these all set. But for the past couple of years, not even kidding, this first goal, which is my writing goal every time, has languished and it has been really difficult to get everything done. And I cannot even express to you the joy of sitting here being so close. Like I am only at 42. Well, I won't say only. I'm at 42,000 something for Nano. But before Nano began, I wrote almost 7,000 words. So I'm getting very close 
to 50,000 words in my manuscript. And that still isn't going to finish the book. Like the book is going to be at least, I think, 85 to 90 K. But just to know that I have moved these down and I still have a full month to work on it is huge. So I've got what's left is the book, my coffee chats, some newsletter and social media stuff. And then I have edits on this book. So if I don't finish it in December, those edits will just move to January. But if all I end up with is this one little set of post-its that didn't get done, I'm going to be just like dancing on the ceiling. I'm going to be so excited. <laughs> and then Preptober, and everything went here, like all my Preptober videos are done. NaNoWriMo Diaries, I move one down every day. So um, I think I just posted the day 24 vlog and today's the 25th. I'm running out of ideas there or I'm, I'm losing track of time. Now this goal is my six months for life goal. And I was hoping to work on some, these are just kind of like personal goals. And I was hoping to work on these a little bit more, but I just sort of a month in realized I was going to be too busy. So it was going to be again, a choice between do I focus on the writing or do I focus on like trying to do more vlogs for this or losing weight or anything like that. Now there are a few of these things that are in process that'll move down soon, but overall it's just the writing one for me that I'm like so proud of myself right now and really excited for what 2023 brings. Which then brings me to the fact that I've mentioned this a few times throughout the nano vlogs that I'm just chomping at the bit to start thinking about my plan for 2023 and how I want to set up my planners, what I want to accomplish, what projects are going to be the most important because I have a lot of things on my plate and things that I want to do next year that I've never done before. And I know I'm going to have to make space for that. And right now I have zero space. <laughs> I'm trying to stay solutions oriented and start thinking about what I can cut out, what I can do, who I can hire, like how I can get help. And making sure that my priority is always like, I want to continue. I don't want my work to get so big that I lose track of this writing because now that I'm on a momentum, now that I'm on a positive streak, I want to keep that up. But I also don't want to like not post YouTube videos or not take care of my health, you know? So it's all a matter of really sitting down to think about what those priorities are and planning with intention. And I'm so ready to do it. So I'm really looking forward to HB90, not only for my students, but for myself, because I really love New Year's. You guys know how much I love a fresh start and New Year's is the freshiest fresh start of the year, obviously. And I'm so ready for it. It's like this will be our first full year in this house. It'll be a time for great opportunity and hopefully great creativity. I feel like there are some really great things on the horizon and I'm just excited. And I don't think I've been this happy in a really long time. And it feels good. So having that bit of gratitude, but it's also <laughs> 830. And I haven't written today, and I still need to work on the planner. So let's get to writing. Oh, I forgot to mention that I got the new NaNoWriMo hoodie in it says NaNoWriMo writer, and it has the key. This is a design from a few years ago. But this was on pre order, I got the large and it is a little bit too big. And I love it that way a little bit oversized of a hoodie and it's perfect. And it's super comfy. There's nothing on the back. It's just that one little design. And I think these are available right now on the nano site. Um, I, sh I really feel like man, I need to order that winter shirt because I'm gonna hit it. Let's do this. We've got less than a week left to go. We are on the final stretch. And I'm ready to win this thing. Let's do it. Okay, first sprint, 801 words, but I am struggling to keep my eyes open and I'm getting easily distracted by things that I keep thinking I want to buy and see if they're on sale for Black Friday. Let me know in the comments, did you do any shopping? I have done massive amounts of shopping today for things that we need in the house. I just bought black couch to go back here. I bought new clothes for the kids, like so much stuff, Christmas gifts, um, new hanging, like floating shelves for the 
uh, kitchen area. There's just like, it's going through my head, like blah, 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 trying to save money on those deals. And I'm like, I'm running out of time, <laughs> but I need to be writing. So I did get 801 words. They may not be my best ever, but I did get those. I also walked out to the mailbox, uh, which is a bit of a trek. It's not like just right outside the house. It's down the road a bit. And I got these super cute paper clips from To Do Papel or Toto Papel. I got some for Halloween as well that they did that were so cute. But this one's like a little gingerbread house and a pink Christmas tree. And then... Sorry for the lighting there. A uh, little Mickey or Minnie Mouse and a little cocoa cup. So those are cute. And then I also have gotten some very cute little dashboards. I can't remember if these came from Glam Girl Planners or the Planner Babe or something like that, but they are super cute little Christmassy ones. And on my coffee chat that I had today, I was asking people, should I use the new sort of pink Erin Condren that looks really nice with that um, pink in the dashboard, or should I use red? And I'm kind of leaning toward, even though I would like to use the new thing, I'm kind of leaning toward red. So I'm hoping to actually take some time this weekend to print out all of my December planner pages and get my new planner set up, especially now that I have this like little extras to decorate with. So I'm pretty excited for that as well. But I need to write at least one more sprint. I am technically at tomorrow's par, so I'm still ahead, but I have a confession to make. <laughs> I actually went ahead this morning and bought my iPad. Um, now don't freak out. <laughs> uh, I was looking originally at the Apple website but then when I started looking at Amazon for some of the other things that I needed, it's cheaper by like a couple hundred dollars on Amazon. And I wasn't sure if that's a Black Friday deal or a normal thing. And so I was like, okay, I know I'm going to win. So I'm just going to go ahead and order it. So it'll be here on Tuesday next week. So I'm hoping I can hit the 50K by the time it arrives so that I can actually open it and use it right when it comes in. My husband was like, what are you going to do if you don't win? And I was like, well, if I don't win, then I have to return it. Uh, so let's not let that happen. I am calling it in that I'm going to win. So I can't give up yet tonight. I want to get this win. So one more sprint and then... Uh, I need to go work on my HP 90 planners just a little bit more, except that maybe I'm just going to chill out a little bit because the other thing I've been getting distracted by is this notion. <laughs> so I am working on several things for next year. Uh, and in terms of my planner stuff, getting things set up, changing the way I'm doing some things. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing is switching out some of my planners and notebooks for Notion. Now I already have, you can kind of see up here, Renee has named. <laughs> so Renee and I work together in this workspace and she has named my heart breathing stuff Heartlandia. And we have all of our um, like tasks and projects and stuff that we work on as a team. So then I named my little private space Sarah's World. And I do have a tarot journal here that I purchased from somebody online that I never have fully set up, but it's so, so cute. And I would love to use this here as well. But I have spent some time just kind of randomly over the last few weeks setting up this Notion dashboard. I have some ideas of, I had taken you guys through some of the like writing journal and tracking some of that stuff in Notion before, but I spent all the time in the world setting it up and then I only used it for about a month and then I was back in my paper planner. So that may end up being true again for me this year. I might set it all up and Notion, if you aren't familiar really is a blank slate. When you start, there's nothing here. There's no structure and you have to create all your pages, all your databases, everything. So it's really easy to get lost in it in terms of like 
spending all your time setting it up, looking for cuter widgets, looking at how to cross databases, watching videos on how to do it. So it's in some ways, I feel like maybe it's me procrastinating planning a little bit by sitting here, like wanting to work on this and figure it out. But it's also me realizing that as my businesses grow, it's time for me to start thinking about adding to my team. I'm probably going to be hiring a second person next year. There's a lot that needs to happen in terms of team management. And that is difficult to do when you're only working in paper planning. And I'm starting to realize that that is definitely a something that would hold me back if I only did paper planning stuff. So I need to also have this dashboard, have all of my projects, have my calendar where my assistant and whoever else comes in can see it and can work with me. So I'm understanding that in the month of December, I would really like to have some of this in place so that I can begin to, um, like practice it, test it, see what's going to work so that I can get it all set up. And by January 1st, be like off to the races with a system that's actually working for me and that feels good. But right now it's just a distraction and it's because I'm tired and it's been a really long couple of days slash few months. And I am just uh, starting to get easily distractible. And so like I had mentioned in a previous vlog, that is a surefire sign that I'm just kind of pushing myself to a limit. So, um, I'm, I think I'm just not going to work on my HB 90 planners tonight. I know a lot of people want them out, but I can only do what I can do. So I am going to do one more like 15 minute sprint, see if I can cross over the 1200 word mark to stay kind of ahead. And then I'm going to just go to bed early. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> uh, just an evidence of how hard this has been to stay focused. When I started, I had literally like, I have, I always have these pin tabs, but I had like two tabs open. Now I have like seven tabs open. <laughs> And I know that it's just because as I'm writing, then I'm like, oh, I should check and see if so-and-so has a deal. Oh, I should check this. Oh, I need to look up this other thing. And it's like, I just keep getting distracted, but I still manage to get 495 words. So I'm at 1296 for the day. It just took me longer than I had hoped to get there. So it is almost 10 PM. I'm ready for bed. I'm going to go to sleep early and wake up tomorrow refreshed and hundred percent excited to start signing some of my books to get HB 90 planner, get the course going. And I think I'm going to go kind of open these up, play around with them a little bit and get some sleep. So I hope that you have had a successful day. Hopefully I can get my writing started a little bit earlier tomorrow too. So I'm not quite so tired because I want that iPad. <laughs> it's going to be mine. So let me know in the comments if you have officially one nano. And just as a little bit of a side note, Tis the season where if you're in writers groups or you're watching and following people on YouTube, you're going to start seeing a lot of, I did it. I won. I won. I won. And if you are nowhere near <laughs> that 50 K, which was me last year, just know that you are just as good as any of those other writers. It just was a more challenging month for you in terms of getting those words in, but it doesn't actually mean anything about how good of a writer you are, how much you want this dream, how worthy you are of this dream. It just means that you didn't write 50,000 words in a month. And instead you got some other number that hopefully feels really good. Or instead you made other choices for yourself that were what you needed right now. So if you hear those numbers, those wins going off, just cheer for them and know that as long as you are moving forward and you're not giving up, you are winning too. All right, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Happy writing. <laughs>